before one pass is thrown, before one swing of the bat, before one fan walks through the gate, the work of a few sets the stage. With every blade of grass and every painted line, their goal is perfection. Unlike the athletes who compete on the surfaces they prepare, these men often go unnoticed. But day after day, night after night, their work is under the spotlight. Our goal is to provide our student athletes with the safest, uh, most playable, aesthetically pleasing fields that, that we can possibly provide them. It's not an easy task, and it's not for the faint of heart. The crew is nearly always the first ones at the facility, and many times the last to leave. I've been told by other turf managers now that, hey, it's either in your blood or it's not in your blood. You love it or you don't love it. We start off early, you know, 7.30ish, ish. ish. <laughs> and we try to get started and, and make hay while the sun's shining, get the field ready and uh, the kind of repair things from the night before. You know, typically you're looking at two, three hours after the end of a ball game before we're getting out of here. The job isn't as simple as cutting the grass, painting the field, and dragging the dirt. The crew faces daily battles with a host of enemies weather you know it's stressful <laughs> because a storm comes through sometimes and just turns things to mud you know things can happen quick i think i don't know if it was george toma who's kind of the the, the father i guess of modern uh, sports turf management but he had a saying that was grass grows by the inch and dies by the foot traffic is what our number one enemy is it's it's a living organism that we're trying to keep alive Keeping the grass healthy is one challenge, but making a field stand out is another. Calhoun County native Eddie Dunning has painted the Block C at williams Bryce Stadium for over 30 years. The job was thrust on him by then groundskeeper Sarge Fry, who had hired another man to paint the logo. He got nervous and backed out. In stepped Eddie, who already knew he was the man for the job. That Day he had spoke with me, he came with Roy Campbell upstairs, and he said, two day I'm gonna make you an important man. And you know, all you had to have faith in me. And you know, and I've been out there, just that peak. You know, everybody calls him the legend, you know, he <laughs> that way back in the early 80s. I guess if you're at a job that long, you know, you're well respected, well, well known, and, and which he is. Eddie's logo is just the centerpiece of a 100 yard canvas. Every letter is measured to the inch, every marking made with precision and elegance. But the attention to detail doesn't end there. Is the dirt level? Are the edges straight? These daily questions keep the crew on its toes. It, it was a learning curve for me, uh, especially with Coach Tanner, because he was a detailed person. Uh, Coach Holbrook's a detailed person. They'll come out and they'll walk the field. They'll come out like 30 minutes early and they'll walk the field and they'll, they'll, they'll stand on my edges and they'll look down the line. A lot of people don't think, you know, well, you're just working dirt, you know, how to, you know, that's easy. No, not really. <laughs> moisture level, moisture content uh, for a game especially is very important. The work is hard, but that doesn't scare them off. Some of them have been here 8, 12, all the way up to 30 years. James Bachnight is retired, kind of. Uh, I think James is going on probably uh, 20, 25, 26 years that he's been employed here. He's kind of a legend around the athletic department. Everybody knows him. I mean, he's like the backbone. I think he just turned, I think it was 71 or 72 years old. And he, I mean, he doesn't stop. He's go, go, go. Like James, each man has a role to play. And with each task, the finished product becomes clearer. And the countless hours they put in finally pay off. 
they all take pride in what's going on. They're not just here to do the job, they're here to, to do the job right. We have a job that a lot of people would, would, would kill to have. Uh, we get to be around uh, a Division I athletic program. Sometimes I, I think all of us realize how lucky we are. I really enjoy what I'm doing. And I, could, I could be uh, another James Fault night. I could be here forever, who knows, <laughs> who knows. We, we feel like we're part of the team, you know, whether that's baseball or softball or soccer or, or football, it, it doesn't matter. We, we, we're rooting just as hard as uh, I think the coaches and the staff are because we, we feel connected in some way.